Hi, my name is Grzegorz Dugas and you're joining me here on my trip to the north, the most north peninsula of Poland, Hell. And we're currently here, here at the seaport trying to photograph long-tailed ducks. There is only one problem and the problem is as you can see the mist. It's sunrise in five minutes and I can see only about 20 meters into the water. I photographed here over the years, so you'll most likely see some photos. And today I will focus on the video to show you the long-tailed ducks flying, but the weather is not helping us. I'm set up at the place where the ship leave the port. Therefore, it is also the place where long-tailed ducks fly out of the port. They rest in the port and they come out to feed outside. They fly through the mouth of it, through the place where ships uh, come in. Well, now we wait. In this type of conditions, it's also you can also try punning, which is slow shutter speed bird photography, because you're not gonna get a good, any good slide shots, even with a 2.8 lens. So you put your eyes down, you aim for the shutter speed around between 1 tenth and 1 50th of a second and then you're trying to get some cool, maybe motion blur stuff. I will show you the shots that I got um, last year. You're trying to follow your subject with the camera, trying to match its movements. Therefore, its wings will be blurred, the surroundings will be blurred, but you're aiming to get the head pin sharp. And, well, that's the goal. So those, those are the shots that I will also be trying to make today. Now the fog is starting to lift up a bit finally, after over an hour. And, well, we'll see if I can get any shots. There is about 50 of long-tailed long ducks uh, currently in the port bay. And, well, there is also some cormorants and uh, one either. So, maybe some of that. Um, the sun is starting to peek through. So, maybe we can get some photo opportunities a bit later when the fog lifts up. gimbal head has been pretty helpful in this scenario because it allows me to quickly follow the long-tailed ducks in flight without any problems. Well, it's so... Ooh. 
is coming in. What's important is you need to have the muscle memory. You can't spend the time looking for your subject so that you see the bird flying in and you need to be on it right away. Because if you spend time aiming, well, there is impossible to get the shots we want. There is quite a big group of them over here now. We'll see if they decide to fly off. Because they are just flying in all the time now. Rather than flying out as we want them to. Oh, we're finally getting some light. Well, now it's going to be good. Okay, ooh, 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 more flying out, more, more flying out. Well, I think I got something. I'm flying out using the autofocus. And everyone is coming out now. Okay, wait. Now time for some picture because the light is pretty nice. Here they come, here they come. <sighs> okay, that's the beauty of the R5. You can switch quickly between stills and video with the press of the one button. So I think I managed to get some. Oh, what a light! What a light! Ah, oh, what a light! Whoa, it's really nice. Finally, a oh, very interesting light. Indeed, a very interesting light. Okay, let's do something with it. Okay, so now the mist that I complained about, it's really thin and... Okay, let me put it this way. Now the mess that I complained about is the best, the most photogenic part of the scene because I, I'm now aiming my camera at the sea and there is this short, small layer of mist that's being backlit. So I, I'm getting some unique looks because it seems like one coming in hot and I'm trying to catch the long-tailed duck right in this mist and it's absolutely gorgeous absolutely gorgeous I'm keeping both of my eyes open to not miss the shots Okay, flying, 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 flying. Oh, yes, 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 yes. This is what I love. Oh my God, yes. Some gorgeous mist over the sea and the long-tailed duck flying right over it. Amazing. Okay, back to low F stops. I'm experimenting with the settings because I have no idea what will look good. I'm trying to get some kind of an environmental picture here. Not really a, a portrait, but the landscape is looking amazing, wow. Well, the light got harsh, so it's the end of the morning session. It was pretty nice, especially the backlit mist over the sea at the end. Now I will walk back home and along my way I will look, check the jetty for a purple side sandpiper. And, well, that's the end of the morning shoot. We will come back in the afternoon.
I'm on the other side of the uh, jetty now and I'm currently looking at a female commonider and some long-tailed ducks and while walking here I caught a glimpse of a seal so maybe we'll manage to film some of that but the goal for tonight is to get some long-tailed ducks flying in a golden light and then switch to the other side of this jetty which faces exactly where the sun will be setting and to get some silhouettes of the long tail of the male long tail duck um, I'm really I'm sitting on this really thick ice and it's really uncomfortable but let's hope it produces some fur. Okay, I now set up to the other side, just into the sun. In 10 minutes the sun will set and the colors already are nice and maybe, just maybe, we'll get some nice silhouette of any kind of birds. Maybe some cormorants, maybe long-tailed ducks, we'll see. But let's cross our fingers. The sun is nearly set and now it's the peak of the colors. So maybe, just maybe, we'll get some nice pastel colors and hopefully a long tail ant on it. But they seem to slow down a bit with the flying and they're grouping behind me. So for the silhouettes, I always underexpose to what the meter tells me because I want the bird to be black and the meter tries to make everything mid-tone-ish so it usually raises a bit of the blacks and gives me a bit of detail and I don't want that detail, I want it to be a simple silhouette uh, when you're photographing silhouettes it's also really really nice to um, shoot birds that have a really Easy, easily identifiable silhouette, which is a long-tailed duck. Of course, the long tail is uh, unmistakable. For example, a stork would be also a great subject, but uh, a bird like a sparrow will not be as good because um, you can't really tell what it is unless you're really good at your birds. So, usually, uh, what I do when I shoot silhouettes is I go for uh, most like unique subject. For example, a hoopoe would be a great one to get one day. I was not expecting to get anything like this, but it's very welcome. Long tail duck against setting sun and reflected in the sea. I didn't get any long tail duck silhouettes this time. The sun has set, the color has disappeared. Well. It's the end. Thanks for watching. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. That's the sound they make. <laughs>